Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Corpse Party. So I'm gonna get as far as I can this weekend and we'll see how we can get through this. So, <laughs> let's go. Uh, I was suddenly distracted by the sound of dripping water nearby. It was as if someone had left the faucet on, but only it just. It was slowly spilling out onto the floor. But where was it? It sounded close, yet there was no sign of running water anywhere that I could see. I had a bad feeling about this. All I knew, it was close. Like, really close. Wait. No, it couldn't be. I looked down at my feet and I gasped. She had a period. Dun, dun, dun. An unpleasant looking black fluid was running down my thighs and pooling up on the floor beneath my feet, and it wasn't stopping. Well, when you turn 15, <laughs> there's. Ew, that's disgusting. Is that hair? Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? I hesitantly collected a bit on the on my finger and studied it. It wasn't blood. It was almost tar-like in consistency, smooth and viscous, and it seemed to be faintly glowing as well. Why was something this coming out of my body? I went to wipe my finger on my skirt and shifted it in place. Only to lose. Shifted it in place. Only to lose my footing and fall backwards, landing hard on my rear. <laughs> I put my hands on the side of my head, closed my ears, and screamed. I reached my limit. I just couldn't. I, did, I just wanted this to be over with. But try as I might to shut out the world, the world was determined not to be ignored. It was like heaven and earth were moving all around me. I felt dizzy. It felt like my soul and my body were separating. I became accurately aware of my own mass, and I started obsessing over it. I was so heavy. My head in particular, in particular. The human cranium weighs about 10 kilograms, and I could feel every last gram straining my neck muscles. It was hurting my back. It's actually 10 pounds. Can't. What's happening? I'm losing consciousness. Can't open my eyes. All my blood in the head. No, all the blood in my body came rushing to my head. Why was this happening? I could feel the blood vessels in my face pressing against my skin. I could feel blood behind my eyelids. It hurts. It hurts so much. The blood just kept coming. I couldn't stop. I felt like the blood vessels, my eyes, my whole head could burst at any moment. Someone, please help me. Seiko. Be careful. You're about to fall into a valley of past and future memories. Just as my last vestiges of consciousness were fading, I heard a little girl's voice, but I was in pain. I was weighed down. I couldn't open my eyes. If you could, to save your friend, you'll need to overcome fate itself. What, what are you saying? Uh, the heaviness of my head grew at an alarming rate, and I heard a tearing behind my ears. There was the sound of major blood vessels breaking wide open. I was certain I was going to die, but then the pain and dizziness simply vanished. I had the sensation of a faint shimmering before my before my eyes, and I wondered if maybe I could open them now. Slowly but carefully, I relaxed the muscles that were so forcibly and fearfully holding my eyelids shut. Where am I? Dude! It's corpse party out of the school! That's crazy! That's awesome! This isn't Heavenly Host. I know exactly where I was. I'd seen this image a million times before, but just, uh, this morning with Seiko, th this is my house. Huh? Am I really home? Was it all just a dream? Maybe? Mom, I'm home. What the fuck is blood on the wall? Something wasn't right. My field of vision was low to the ground and everything around me looked... Much larger than it should. What's going on? Naomi! Naomi! Guess what? I bought you a cat. Dad? You've always been so mature watching the house all by yourself in your way. Come on, pet it. Isn't that great, Naomi? Ah! Mom? Now you have someone to keep you company. Sorry, we're always so late coming home from work, sweetie. It's nice that we can trust you, though. I'm really sorry, but now you won't be so lonely anymore, right? Stop this. 
Those are her memories from the past. Oh, Aw, yeah. man. I thought it was like, I get to walk around and fucking do some stuff. May would spend half her time indoors and the other half in the backyard as if she was a past pasture or something. Went out to pasture. It may not be much land, but there was, it was her territory and she rarely ventured outside of it. Once I was so upset that my parents were going to be late coming home from work again that I scooped up May and ran away from home for a little while. Papa, Mama, I hate you. She's like eight. Stop it. It's because you're here, May. Because you're here. Papa and Mama don't think they have to come home. It's all your fault, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You're gonna kill him? Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Naomi, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Where did you and May run off to? I'm sorry, May. I didn't want us to be apart. I said really mean things to you, May. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's alright. Naomi, May will always be there for you. She loves you, you know. She can really sense exactly how you feel, and she's very understanding. Ball. Ugh. It wasn't long after that, May ran away. Yeah. I searched for her every day through teary eyes, but in the end, she never did come home. It was such a pity. I guess even cats get strange ideas in their heads from time to time. That wasn't it. And you two are such good friends, too. I did this. But you'll make new. new yeah! What? Alright, sorry about that. I'll probably cut that out. So sorry. <laughs> Sister had some problems. Anyways, but make new friends in no time, you'll put this out of your mind and move on. It's because May was so understanding and kind hearted that she disappeared from my life. If I only had to, I would have said to her. Please, alright, so this is her past memory of her cat gone missing. May! You'll never change, do you? Mom? Where are you? Why is there blood on the wall? I want to know that. The f you guys see that? You guys see that. Kinda. She's not here. Naomi. There's blood right there. Naomi. Seiko? The fuck is Seiko. that? Seiko, Seiko, are you alright? I've been looking all over for you. I'm so sorry about before. She's gonna have no eyes or something. That freak me out. Freak me out, guys. She didn't respond, but she didn't have to. This was definitely Seiko. I can't see you very well. Come a little closer, please. Let me see your face. I drew in towards Seiko, who was sitting on the ground and rested my head on her shoulder, then wrapped my arms around her. Still, I couldn't see her face. I thought it might be because of the dim lighting in the room, but no, that wasn't it. Something was very wrong here. Seiko wasn't moving an inch. That's when I realized her skin was cold. <laughs> She's dead. Wait, where was I? Was I home? Or was I in Heavenly Host? The last thing I remember was frantically trying to find her again. I could smell incense some, somewhere far off and finally realized that this wasn't reality. Pant, 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 pant. Kishi Oshunua. We're arriving at Kishi Kishi Station. Is this a cutscene? I think it's a cutscene. What? Okay, that was. A, that's a cutscene? No! No, this person sitting perfectly still on the floor, not saying a word. This was a Seiko. So who was it? I don't know, man. Whoa, fuck those eyes! Whoa, what the fuck? Naomi! Pant, pant, pant! Within the unyielding darkness, I knew that whoever was talking, Seiko's shape was taking towards me, was coming towards me. Pant, 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 pant! Da, 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 da. <laughs> she's here, she's right next to me, I can feel her breath, I can, feel, I can sense her presence. Who are you? I'm your friend! With a broken neck, remember? That's pretty freaky. What the fuck? This is your future. Where you make me die. There it is. There's that picture. Yeah, no! Why did you leave me, leave me by myself there? As we finally managed to get back together too. I was so worried that I'd hurt you. So worried 
that's why things turned out this way. No, don't say that. What's going on? What's going on, man? As I lay there, stricken with grief, I heard the footsteps of a child approach. I looked up and saw a little girl with a red dress standing over me. Oh, creepy ass bitch. Do you want to save your friend no matter what it takes? What are you? I'm the one who controls the fate in this world. I have no idea clue what she meant by that. But I remember that she's been giving me advice the whole time. She had a different air about her, the other spirits around the school building. I felt like maybe she was on my side. I want to save her. Please, if there's any way to do it, tell me now. I'll give you another chance to remember. Think hard. What you've just seen are events from the past, which is also the future through your spirit now passes. In other words, this is the first time you experience this, the sequence of events, but you already know that, didn't you? This is sort of the thing that doesn't happen. It should have sounded like a complete nonsense to me. But it... But I didn't say a word, I just nodded. There are only fragments, but nonetheless, I was seeing crystal clear visions of what I could also assume as my first experiencing these events. That sense of deja vu I've been feeling wasn't just some creepy delusion or misidentified nerve impulse in my brain. It was real. Then you've also already seen the trigger event from which your despair originated. So now, you fight against these Faded demise. Pretty intense. Pant, 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 pant. When I came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the hallway of the third floor on the school building. When I did, when did I get there? How long have I been there? I looked down. Sure enough, there were puddles of black all around me. It was vi viscous fluid that been spilling out of me from the inside of me. The powerful manifestation of dread spreading out across the floor. But this was no time to sulk. I need to think about Seiko. I'd left her all alone by herself again. I wonder if she's still in the custodian's room. That sound. Was it coming from inside the bathroom? There's a violent banging come from one of those stalls with a lump on my throat shivered down in my spine. Slowly crept in to take a look. There was eerie stillness within the air. The lavatory. Alright guys, but I'm gonna end it here, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in a second.